A murderer is now out on the streets in Chicago. Today, former Chicago cop Jason Van Dyke walked out of prison a free man. Uh, he was sentenced to nearly 70 years in prison for the murder of Laquan McDonald. Uh, but Van Dyke got out early due to good behavior. He served less than half of the term. Laquan's family and civic leaders are demanding federal charges uh, be filed against him. In a statement, Chicago Mayor Lori Lightfoot said people should see Van Dyke's conviction as progress instead of worrying about his release. She pointed out he was the first officer convicted of a crime committed in the line of duty in more than 50 years. Uh, really, Reese? That Lori, that's, that, that's your response. <laughs> progress? What the hell are you talking about? This is nothing more than evidence about how the system is really two separate sets of system, not just for black and white, but also for police versus non-police. You know, this case and him being paroled or what released, however it's being characterized, reminds me immediately of the Julius Jones case in Oklahoma and the way that the there had to be a national public galvanization just to have the governor even take half of the recommendation of the parole board there, which was to grant Julius Jones, um, uh, commute his sentence to life with the possibility of parole, which would made him eligible for parole based on the amount of time served. And after so many protests and so much pressure put upon him, he... He stayed for execution, but he kept the life without the possibility of parole there. And he's likely innocent. There's evidence to that. Or at a minimum, he's, he's he should be eligible for parole. And so the parole is another scam that's used to pick and choose who gets a second chance after they serve their time. And we see with Jason Van Dyke, this is another instance of justice not served. And it's not even what I would call accountability at this point. Teresa. Yeah, I agree with Rishi. She's absolutely right. This parole board has been very interesting in some of the decision making. I, it's it's unfortunate. I I have to think about you know if uh, Jason Van Dyke was uh, a person of color, what <laughs> how long he would be in? You know, three quarters of a year is at the midnight being released is not saying that I've served my time. It's saying we did the public. Uh, we did the public appreciation that he went into jail. But in terms of serving his time, no, we're just going to let him out after midnight with no cameras. It's, and so, ag again, when we, you know, start thinking about um, some of these state roles and some of these state reforms that we need to happen in these states and make sure that it is not only control, but it is continuously reviewed. There are uh, people that have been sitting on parole boards because some of them don't have expiration dates and they've been there since, you know, the beginning of time. So you have mm -hmm. people that have been there with the same mindset, with the same agenda, you know, don't care really what the circumstances, don't care if you actually been rehabilitated to go back into the society um, and they letting people out, you know, or they're not letting people mm -hmm. out and they're just keeping them there. So I think there has to be a, a total reform inside when we actually look at governor races because, you know, they are picking and choosing these appointments. And for those who have the same mindset of, you know, if, if, of mindset of zero change, they will absolutely continuously do what they do. Folks, back to our Mark unfiltered video in just one moment. to be smart. Roland Martin's doing this every day. Oh, no punches! Thank you, Roland Martin, for always giving voice to the issues. Look for Roland Martin in the whirlwind, to quote Marcus Garvey again. The video looks 
phenomenal. So I'm really excited to see it on my big screen. We support this man, Black Media. He makes sure that our stories are told. See, this difference between Black Star Network and Black-owned media and something like CNN. I got to defer to the brilliance of Dr. Carr and to the brilliance of the Black Star Network. I am rolling with rolling all the way. I'm honored to be on a show that you own. A Black man <laughs> owns the show. Folks, Black Star Network is here. I'm real uh, revolutionary right now. The crowd rolling was amazing on that. Stay black. I love y'all. I can't commend you enough about this platform that you've created for us to be able to share who we are, what we're doing in the world, and the impact that we're having. Let's be smart. Bring your eyeballs home. You can't be black on media and be scared. You dig?